watching 7 News, working for you. Welcome back to 7 News at 11. As former President Donald Trump, along with his allies, continue to blast the $350 million ruling against him, his political opponents are using it as ammunition. Christian Benavidez reports. The clock is ticking for former President Donald Trump to pay up the hefty penalty imposed by a New York judge this week for falsely inflating his assets to receive favorable loan terms. Within 30 days, either post the amount of the penalty up with, in with uh, interest, so it's 120 percent of the penalty, and we're really talking about something like $450 million. We've got to get past these candidates where it's all about them. His only remaining Republican challenger, Nikki Haley, blasted Trump. He used $50 million of campaign contributions to pay for his personal court cases. The RNC is now going to be the piggy bank for Trump's legal fees. But allies of Mr. Trump say his legal challenges are all bolstering him politically. Here's what we know without any question, that this has only exposed a two-tier justice system that many Americans fear. The ruling also levied penalties against Mr. Trump's two adult sons. My father built the skyline of New York City, and this is the thanks he gets for doing absolutely nothing wrong. Crooked judge. He's a crooked judge. As Trump continues hitting the campaign trail, voters in South Carolina will take to the polls next Saturday in that state's Republican primary, where Trump leads by double digits. This weekend, Trump unveiled in Philadelphia Never Surrender High Top Sneakers, along with a website selling Trump-branded Victory 47 cologne. Stay tuned. We have a full look at your forecast after the break. You're watching 7 News at 11.